Hello and welcome to EcoFarm. This is episode 15. We are well into winter now. It is December. We're going to whiz through these winter months. Just doing, uh, just showing you the basics. Basically, we're going through our daily routines for each month. So we'll just show little snippets quickly of uh, December and January. And then in February, we have a little surprise, an unexpected windfall. But we'll get to that a little bit later. Let's just get checking. I think we're all right. Yeah, everything is fine there. Everything's running nicely. Got a reasonable load in. Just need to whip around to the new greenhouse and uh, go and collect what's there. Fairly harsh conditions of course. It's starting to snow. But it looks like we should have some sunshine, sunshine later in the month. So yeah, not too bad. Let's get going. Right. Oops. Yeah. I knew it was going to be a little bit tight there. And this was an unexpected problem. I didn't think that tomatoes and that would be loading into the silo, but that is the case. I'll just show you. We'll get back there. Just going to have a look and see. Yeah. So some lettuce, tomatoes have um, have offloaded and strawberries of course into the silo so <laughs> oh dear didn't think of that when I was planning the the new greenhouse in any event let's put the rest of the the strawberries lettuce and tomatoes into the into the silo and we'll get them sold at a later, at a later stage just wanted to actually see whether the onions and the zucchinis and the watermelon actually go into the silo as well. It doesn't look like it. Cucumbers as well, I think uh, we've got. No, it doesn't look like it. Right. No, it definitely doesn't look like it. Try a little bit more. There we go. That's just the rest of the letters going. Yeah, we'll have to work out where the where the trigger points are and adapt the road around there at some stage. We'll get that done in the springtime. I'm just going to head off into town now and go and deliver the rest of this and then we'll do the rest of our chores for the month pretty much offline and we'll skip on to the next month fairly soon. Let's just get this delivered. One little last lot, and that's it. Well, it's not. That's it. We will uh, do the rest of our um, our chores, and we've now skipped over into January. Lovely sunshine. We've loaded up all the all the veggies. Go and pick up some eggs. We're going to deliver that into town just by way of showing our daily routine. Eggs have been a good constant source of income at the moment. Cannot complain about that. 
I think uh, we just about at full production on eggs now. Can't be far off. We'll head into town and can make it these deliveries and do the rest of our chores for February. Yeah, so basically there wasn't much going on in these winter months um, besides routine, looking after the animals. The pigs have bred, so we we're getting right up there in terms of pig numbers and it's becoming quite a struggle to get them fed. We're going to have to start thinking about doing some... trying to uh, make up feed ourselves. It's, um, it's getting very expensive to buy, to buy in pig feed. We'll uh, be working on that in the next couple of months, try and get ourselves as self-sufficient as possible on that. It's be, as I said, it's becoming a bit of a problem. We seem to be spending all our all our income on pig feed. And there's still a couple of months before we can start selling some pigs as well. But of course, we've got to get the breeding program up as well. I did um, sell some manure into the into the global market just because we've got a really good price for it and. That may be one way that we're going to try and mitigate that is to sell our manure into the export market and just use our chicken manure for um, for fertilizing our own lands. Right, it's now skipped into February and the winter has really set in. Heavy, heavy snow. Well, let's get started on our daily chores even though it's snowing we've still got to do them still got to go and feed all the animals take our produce down to market get some money in let's just hook up I was wondering whether we're going to get snow um, we didn't get a lot well we had a couple of flurries during December and January but February is really set in. Right so um, we did our daily chores but in addition we also delivered some flour to the market just we were getting slightly overstocked and we've had all these little minor niggling little problems. I um, forgot to separate out the pig feed from the flour when I went to load it <laughs> and it's created a bit of a problem so I had to offload her load the pig feed back on just to get the last pellet of flour sold yeah lots of niggling little problems like that um, we ran out of pig feed uh, wasn't too much of a problem we didn't lose a lot of health or anything like that um, at the beginning of last month I think it was but yeah so I did mention I have mentioned earlier that pig, uh, feeding the pigs is becoming a bit of a issue we're going to have to sort that out uh, in the next few months right while I was doing that and struggling I got a phone call from the mayor of the town and he's offered me a snow clearing contract clear all the roads um, so what I did is I also spoke to the supermarket and they've asked us to clear clear up their parking lot and also the store has asked us to clear their parking or their the front of the store area as well so I've quoted the mayor and and the store and the supermarket and all in total of forty thousand dollars to clear all the snow for the month of february and they've agreed to that so we're going to be spending a bit of time clearing snow which is not too much of a problem so at least a snow blower 
and pretty pretty easy just blowing the snow f uh, over onto over here it looks like onto the farmers market's roof <laughs> we just blowing it into the air and spreading it around the uh, the area around the roads and the areas that we're cleaning just so that it's not making big snow drift right so this is going to take quite a while it is a it's a pretty big job so we have to do all the roads around the around the town we have to clear the parking lot completely we have to go up to the um, living estates the flats we have to clear the road up there and the parking lot around there we have to clear the roads around the residential area and also around the little hall and the bank and then we also have to clear around the store and all that is going to take quite a bit of time to do so we'll just do a little bit more at normal speed and then I'll put it onto a time lapse and I can show you the whole job. So it's just as a bit of a bonus, we'll clean in front of the sweet shop. Of course we need to clear around the, uh, the electricity um, charge points for the electric vehicles be important to get that done people still need to get around yeah so this has been has actually been a bit of a godsend this um, this little bit of income help us get through this first winter Gonna have to be mindful of the next year just to make sure that we have a bit of reserve um, food stocks for the pigs and for the for the chickens. The chickens haven't been too much of a problem um, because the feed that we're buying in for them is relatively cheap. But I think with uh, the pigs, we're going to have to start. Um, thinking about ways and means of trying to get their food done cheaper. In any case, I've got this onto a time lapse now and we'll leave you with a little bit of music and we'll catch you once we're just about done.
Well, there we go. That's just about the whole job done. I'll get this back to the farm and then we will finish off our daily chores and this must probably move on into March. Although that's probably won't be in this in this episode. Oh well we've just got confirmation from our bank that our forty thousand has been deposited. It's in the bank account. We'll be pretty much be spending that straight away. Well, not all of it, but quite a bit of it is going to go into more peak feed. <laughs> and more peak feed and more peak feed. So let's go and get that loaded up. And while we're doing that, I think that's a good place for us to end this episode. So thank you so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed the winter interlude. If you have, please like and subscribe. If you're enjoying the series, please like and subscribe. Once again, thank you so much for watching. And cheerio.